While all Cal State Bakersfield teams await a return to a normal sports routine, the CSB baseball team has been making some changes this offseason both on its roster and staff, with today announcing a new addition to its baseball staff. Kevin Keyes will join the runners baseball program as a volunteer director of player and program development. Keyes was a football and baseball star at Highland High School before beginning a collegiate baseball career at Bakersfield College, followed by Long Beach State. The hiring of Keyes comes after the runners added one of their own on the coaching staff a month ago. Former Roadrunner interfielder David Metzger will return to the runners baseball program and serve as an undergraduate assistant coach beginning in the fall of 2020. Coach Beard believes both men will have great impacts on the team. Just having a local guy like him, an icon in the baseball community and just in the sports community in Bakersfield, I mean, in Kern County, uh, this guy, he's, he's just done a lot for us in the Valley and for these kids. And you can't build things without great relationships. And I don't know too many guys that don't, don't like Kevin Keyes. And bringing back Metzger is another example of the runner's pipeline with Major League Baseball, as they not only continue to bring coaches with MLB experience to CSUB, but they also watch their players sign. Most recently, Damian Henderson signing a free agent contract with the Cincinnati Reds. You know what, in three years, I think we've had seven guys sign, and that's as good as a lot of, a lot of programs around the country. So we want to help develop them and just be a part of that journey and do everything we can at this very last step uh, to get them to that next level. And that, that's really a high priority, and I think it just helps the revolving door of getting more and more guys like that. While the runners baseball team waits until fall for a potential return to offseason workouts, the NCAA announced last week that it won't hold any D1 fall championships, impacting cross country, field hockey, FCS, soccer, women's volleyball, and men's water polo. Divisions two and three have previously canceled their championships, with NCAA President Mark Emmert saying he will look into hosting those championships in the winter or spring. Meanwhile, the NCAA announced today that it will offer an automatic initial eligibility waiver for students enrolling for the 2021-22 academic year due to COVID-19.